going to the garden today to get onions. I picked some yesterday and I braided them this morning and they look really cool. So we're gonna go get some more. Forgot my box. That's all right, I'll see what the boys are doing. Hang on. Good thing is the shop is done, which is amazing because now I get my garage back. That's great. Let's look at these onions. Hopefully I'll have enough for at least a braid or two. I planted mine in the raised beds much later than Corey planted his in the garden. So mine are about this big and Corey's are about big. So we're pulling Corey's out. I'm, I've pulled some of mine out because I needed one here and there, but these are, these are really ready. The other ones were not. So we're gonna, looks pretty good. string instead of like oh I hope I don't drop a couple of my onions while I'm walking down to the house some people braid them as soon as they pull them I am gonna let these air dry a little bit because our grounds really wet before I braid them okay um, we like to repurpose as much as we can so we saved what wood we could and we just got a bunch of two by fours yesterday and they are building shelving, so that'll be done soon where we can put all of our stuff up there. Looks good. I'm gonna let these onions air dry in the shop so they'll get good wind up here, but not any rain. You made chocolate milk from dirt? Yeah. It, it looks cool on your face. What? Do you like chocolate milk on your face? No, it got water on my face. <laughs> no. Look at your face. That's not mud. Day. I did not get to finish my onion footage because I had a rough afternoon. So this morning we have already milked the goat and done most of our chores. We still have to feed the boiler chickens and Corey is on his way to pick up our meat goat mamas, and we'll be able to breed them, I think, next year. Ducks got in what? This area. Daddy said the ducks had to be with with these ones because that's who they were going to be grown up with, so we need to get used to each other. Those ducks are making a big mess. Chewy. Hey, girls, come on. Yeah. Hey, 
they've already grown since we got them. Look at all these guys. Watch out! Alright, here's your food. Probably need to change water in that too. here on the four-wheeler and I filled my boot with water so now my boots are soaking wet. You like getting into your daddy's stuff? Aw, there's George. Hi, baby. Cat! Yeah, cat! Good job, baby. I don't really know what else to do, so if you have any better advice, let me know so I can get the pea smell out of my upholstery. Standing up. Mm -hmm. She's trying to establish dominance. Oh, should we be in here for that? We're in here for that. <laughs> There's my feeny girl. Mm -hmm, my feeny girl. They're gonna be loud. You got friends now, feeny girl. Hmm. Names. Ginger for sure. Ginger? I like ginger for that one. So the goats are adjusting well. They are really tiny. They're not really tiny, but they're about half the size of Finny. And she made it very clear that she's in charge, which is good. But we're gonna just let them let them hang out together today. In the meantime, I'm going to be putting away some sweet pickles. I did another batch of those, so we've got them going up. They've been over there, and then my jars over here, and then I'll have a big mess to clean up when I get all done. So, we'll get to it. He is cutting a bunch of two by fours to length. What are you doing back there? <laughs> He's so cute. So we're gonna go up there and check on him, make sure he is doing well. Hi. Hi. You're cute. Gonna be on the vlog? 
You like being on the blog? Mm-hmm. We're gonna go see what Corey's up to, see how close he is to being ready to put the, the first one together. And then we've gotta get chicken wire and a few other things. We do a lot here on the farm throughout the week. Some weeks more than others, but this month has been particularly busy. We are getting our homestead ready to be an official, unofficial, official homestead. So we have all of all of the animals that we need except for one, and I think we will be getting that one within a few months, just waiting for it to be born. And you guys will see what animal that is in the future. What are you doing? tomatoes which I know I don't normally do but we have a friend there that raises his garden chemical free as well so I got some tomatoes because none of ours have started to ripen yet I have a thousand green ones probably in a couple of weeks I'll begin to be able to really harvest out of the garden with tomatoes when I got back from the farmers market Corey had already gotten started again on the chicken tractors and I went up there and I cleaned out all of the chicken brooders we try to clean those out every couple of days because they get kind of funky when i got done it was time for Haley to come in and take a nap so that's what we're doing we showered all of the chicken nasty off of us and now we're resting um i will get lunch made for everybody and then we are going to start making spaghetti sauce um, i'm also going to try to make some enchilada sauce this year it's mostly water and tomato sauce so i don't feel like it will be that complicated we're gonna kind of test it and see what happens. And in a little bit, we will go up to the shop again and check on Corey and see how those chicken tractors are going. Y'all can come along and watch that.
olive oil and then you simmer it until it's as thick as you want it to be. Let's see, you can see that. It's reduced to about half of what it was. Um, so I think I'm going to hopefully get a quart out of it plus what I need for dinner tonight. So that would be really nice. I'll have a quart um, stored up for the next time I need spaghetti sauce. What about tomorrow? You, you want spaghetti tomorrow? Caleb says we're going to cook a lot of spaghetti tomorrow. The chicken tractors are coming along. Um, neither Corey or I are gifted in building, so they're taking longer than they should, but that's just part of it because we're just not builders. We'll have those finished sometime, and you guys will continue to see the progress on them so they get built. What are you doing back there? Can I have the ball? Ball. We'll keep you guys updated as those progress. They're supposed to be done by next Monday because the chicks at two weeks need to move into them and then they're going to go. So we'll see. So we're going to go and check on Corey and the chicken tractors. It was so hot this week, like 90 and humid and nasty. Looks like he's stapling chicken wire on right now. You're helping daddy? Okay, close the door. Careful. Okay. Ooh, that looks cool. told myself not to wear my tennis shoes while I was watering the greenhouse it's because my feet are soaking wet now it's disgusting let's go up to the shop and see how that's going Ooh. looks good is this the first one or the second one number two Georgette, Josephine, Charlotte, or Maggie. These are the pets. Well, this is our week on the farm. We do a lot during the summer. And then in the winter time, we do a lot of greenhouse stuff to prepare for our season as a business in the springtime. Right now you are seeing our homestead portion of our land. I guess you could say what we do for our family. So my yard is a mess. My children are happy, dirty, but happy. Let's go talk to them. What should we do the vlog on next week? A uh, build rocket chair. What do you want to vlog about next week? What about, what about a birdhouse? Building and a birdhouse. What should we do on the farm to show people? Pick tomatoes. Maybe if they're red. That would be fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to build like this little show. If any bird wants to live there, I have to put some hay in there. Um, I have to put some pieces of paper.